I'm going to see if I can get the fish to come out for food. They've been trusting me a bit more. I see a couple are out there swimming right now. Little, oh, there's a few. They are starting to get used to me as the feeder. I told myself I wasn't going to name them till they're older, but a couple I've decided to name. There's a white one with a funky looking orange spot in its head. It's kind of blotchy that I've started calling Gorby for Gorbachev. And then there's another one that's a uh, kind of a mostly black and orange that reminds me of a cat that we had uh, when I was a kid. And my family will understand that I call that one Malongis. Malongis. <laughs> kind of a family joke. Okay, fishy, come get your food. I see there's a big pile of them over there. What are they doing? Hiding? Come on. Do you smell the food? Meanwhile, Monroe's bonking on my leg. Huh, Monroe? Monroe? I don't think he knows what's in here. For a while I lost a lot of them, or I couldn't find them, I lifted up each pot and they disappeared and I thought, oh my gosh, did, some, did something get them? I was freaking out, but they were just being fraidy cats because whenever I'd come around they'd hide and I, I realized, you know, down here some of the pond lining has all these folds in it, so they were hiding in the folds in the corner silly fishes. I'm actually surprised they're still out with me talking because they haven't liked the sound of people's voices much. They're still out, not running away, but they're not getting their food yet. Ooh, I think one of those is Gorby. Is that the one with the weird splotch? No. Oh, there's a... I know it. There they are. I have four white ones with orange spots. Where's Gorby?
they like to hide under this waterfall. I think it gives them more security. Gorby. That one right there, that's Gorby. <laughs> hey, Monroe. 